Well, what's up, everybody? My name is Carlos. This is Lisa, if you can see her in the background. Uh, we're about to go for a walk, but before we go for a walk, I just want to take a moment to talk about a very underrated adapter that you should keep in your car, in my opinion. As you know, I've become very best friends with Electron, and they sent me this, you know, uh, giant supercharger adapter called the Vortex, and I've been using it for the, like, ever since they sent it to me, I've been using it, like, almost once a week, and it works so well, very heavy duty. I love the design, and I even had Amanda, my girlfriend, try it out, and she did it first try, and then she even unplugged it really easily she was like wow that was actually really easy and I was like yeah I know this is this is amazing I love this thing <clears throat> I guess on a side note as well I'm still waiting for Hyundai to send me an email for my adapter my free adapter they still haven't sent it I know a lot of other people who still hasn't been sent an adapter so if you need an alternative if you're going on a road trip again this is amazing I really love this Electron one but an underrated adapter that I feel like most people should have in the car but they probably don't is this one this is the Tesla to J1772 charger adapter Yes, they did send this to me as well. So this is sponsored by Electron. However, I do want to talk about this. So this is the adapter. If let's say you go to a hotel or where I am, a park or a parking garage or anywhere like that, and they only have the Tesla port. Well, this you can use for your own car and inside is empty because I'm actually using it right now. <laughs> so let's go outside and take a look. Um, but as you can see here, I'm getting 11.6 kilowatts. And let me tell you the benefit, because there is a benefit to using Tesla adapters or Tesla charging units instead of the normal J port units. So let's go ahead and go outside. They have installed four EV spots, right? Two of these use the normal J plugins. And let me just kind of show you here. So this is just your normal one that most, most cars have. Now let's say I parked here, right, and I plugged in. I will also be getting the 11 kilowatts, right? However, let's say somebody else parked here and they plugged in their car. But now the power is split, so now I'll be getting five and he'll be getting five. But with the Tesla stations, they're both its own unit, and so I'm getting 11, and if somebody plugs in their car right now, they're also gonna get 11. So it's like, why? Why would I choose that over this? So that's one secret that I feel like nobody, I haven't heard anyone talk about, is if you use the Tesla charging stations for the level two charging, it is so much better because it's so much faster. So this is what it looks like. Now, as you know, I did buy some like knockoff brand on Black Friday last year. We can do a quick comparison of that, but I can already tell you that this is way more heavy duty and I actually enjoy this a lot better. All right, so to release it, you just release it like that. Oh my god, this thing has gone through. I don't know if you can tell. This thing has gone through it. Jeez, I don't know if I even feel safe plugging this in. But I'm going to anyways just to show you a demonstration. So once you have your adapter, once you have the charger, you just plug it in here. It clicks on. It's nice snug. And then all you do is what you normally do. You just plug it in. Now as you can see, and just in, in case some people get confused, we're not using this bottom part, which means we're not supercharging. This is specifically for level two charging. So we're just gonna go ahead and plug that in. And that's it, and we'll hear this click. There we go. And now it's charging. Now according to the manual, this works with the Tesla high power wall connector, Tesla destination charger generation one, two, and three, and the Tesla mobile connector. And it also comes with a little carrying case if you want a little carrying case. And everything's branded, it looks very clean. It's not like too much in your face. I've already used this at work. You can use this at hotels. So, but yeah, honestly, anytime you see a Tesla level two charger, try to use it because it does, it does like make it so much easier that you have your own charger instead of splitting the power over there. All right, so just for a quick comparison, this is the one I bought last year on Black Friday. It was just a random <laughs> off-brand one that I just found that was cheap. I was like, okay, I'll just try it out and it works i'm not gonna say anything bad about it because it does work i've used it multiple times this is now my new official one from electron because they did send it out to me now the very first difference i can see right now is the output output current so this is a 60 amp output current and this one is a 48 amp. So that is one difference that I've seen so far. Other than that, they're pretty much similar. So with this one, this is this is the electron. Here's what it sounds like when you click on it. And here's the off-brand one. <laughs> I don't know why this one reminds me of like a computer. I don't know. But anyways, I definitely feel like this is way more firm. Like this is more just heavy duty. And I feel like I'm starting to see a pattern. All the Electron products are very heavy duty, like made to last. Like that uh, supercharger adapter, that thing is, is an absolute unit and I love how it feels. And then as far as the Tesla port here to plug in, you have a little locking system here. And then compared to this one, where it's a little bit smaller, I will say... I don't like the red on here. I always thought that kind of 
threw off the whole thing because if a Tesla person was angry enough and they wanted to unlock it, I feel like this pretty much gives away how to unlock it. <laughs> Whereas this is more stealthy, um, like you can't really tell, like it just all blends in together. But yeah, overall, like they're both good units. Um, this one just feels more heavy duty as most Electron products um, are. They're very heavy duty. This one does feel just more cheap. Thank you again, Electron, for sending this out for me to test. Um, I was not paid, but they did just send this to me for free. And if you are interested in looking at one of these, I will leave a link below. It is not an affiliate link, so I don't get paid any money. I don't get paid anything. So just kind of keep that in mind. I believe it's just for tracking purposes. I'm going to go ahead and leave the link in the description. But yeah, Electron is really solid so far. I've tested out two of their products and they're all very heavy duty, which I really, really like. And again, the most important part is that they all have warranty included. So if anything ever goes wrong, you can go ahead and contact their customer support. I'm going to go ahead and take her for her walk. But yeah, I have one more thing from Electron I will be reviewing this week. And it's the most exciting part because <laughs> uh, I'll just give you a quick spoiler. It is my first home charger and my first portable charger at the same time. So um, I will be reviewing that later this week and I'm very excited for it. So yes, I truly believe that this is the most underrated adapter and I feel like everyone should have one in their car. I've always kept mine in my car and now I'm gonna have a spare one. So <laughs> happy about that. But yeah, this is now my official primary one. And uh, with all that said, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.